Right. So we will begin with the webinar now. Uh, so good evening, everybody in Japan and good afternoon in India. Uh, I am Sakshi Verma from University of Tokyo webinar team and an alumni of Ritsume Khan Asia Pacific University. And today we are here for the global network projects for University of Tokyo, India office. This project aim to attract students primarily from Southeast Asia to encourage them to pursue their higher studies in Japan. This program is sponsored by MEX, Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. I've been joined by Ms. Vaishnavi Thakur as a sub-facilitator today. In today's webinar, we are going to, uh, we have been joined by a couple of renowned universities in Japan. Each of these universities will give a 20 minute of presentation about their programs offered at undergraduate, graduate and doctoral levels, followed by a five minutes of Q&A session. Students are free to ask their questions on the Q&A box and not the chat box. So this is a direct opportunity to get in touch with uh, the university representatives and ask any questions, uh, whatever questions you have through the Q&A box. Um, and I repeat, please use the Q&A box, not the chat box. And I request all the panelists to leave your, uh, Q, uh, your contact details on our chat box so, that's the, the, so that the students can uh, note it down and ask you questions anytime they want. So um, uh, I will share the today's uh, agenda today. So if we can have the agenda today, uh, so that would be great. Thank you, Vaishnavi san. So, uh, so first up, we have Ms. Sakshi Roy, who is an assistant manager uh, at University of Tokyo India office. And we're gonna learn about this project from her. So Sakshi san, to you. Sakshi san, I'll just share my screen. I hope everyone can see my screen. So namaste everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar study and have a career in Japan session 14. My name is Sakshi Roy and it's my pleasure to thank all our expert panel members from prestigious Japanese university who attended and contributed to this webinar series. So thank you so much for your time uh, to attend this webinar and for your continuous support. Thank you so much. Uh, next, I would like to introduce about our office. So we are the part of Study in Japan Global Network Project in Southwest Asia by MEX. And we usually provide information on Japanese university. In order to increase awareness about higher education opportunities in Japan, uh, we organize education fairs, seminars throughout India. So these are uh, all the basic parts of our office activities. All right. So as you all uh, know, uh, our webinars are brought to you by MEX, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology in Japan. The main purpose of this webinar is to introduce you to some of the top Japanese universities. In our online sessions, all the Japanese universities will be discussing the English based programs and scholarship opportunities available to them. And um, it's a huge opportunity for all of you to uh, know their programs and offerings directly by each university representatives. And I would like um, to ask all of you to please listen uh, and uh, each and every presentation very carefully. And please feel free to ask your questions directly to our university representative in the Q&A box. So uh, this is just a brief uh, idea about number of higher education institutions in Japan. In Japan, there has been approximately 700 plus universities as well as specialized vocational institutions. Moreover, uh, Japan is consistently ranked among top 10 countries for education and some of the Japanese universities have been ranked among top 500 universities in the world. So therefore, you learn from uh, some of the finest minds in the world and work in some of the most modern labs. And if, uh, if you wish to consider your higher studies in Japan, you can, um, you know, choose any uh, of your interested fields. So uh, this is the uh, email address of our office. In case if you have any questions later after attending the webinar, please do not hesitate to contact us. We'll be very happy to help you with your queries. And uh, we'll also share the email uh, in the chat box for your reference. So 
Thank you so much. Further, uh, we are also available on social media platforms as well. So please stay engaged by following our Facebook page, Instagram page, and please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. Uh, our social media platform offers the latest updates on study and uh, have a career in Japan uh, webinars alongside with relevant information. Uh, we have also noticed a growing interest among students to access our past webinar recordings. So you can find our uh, recordings available, readily available on our YouTube channel. So to, so to check the recordings, just subscribe our YouTube channel. And it will be very grateful if you can support us by liking and sharing our YouTube videos. So that's all from my side today. I request all of you to please stay tuned with us till the end of the session. And I hope this webinar will provide you with a valuable and fruitful information about studying in Japan. So thank you very much for paying attention. Please enjoy today's session. Thank you so much, Sakshi. Uh, thank you for giving us uh, the overview of what University of Tokyo India Office does. I hope our students got the details and they'll get in touch with you for further queries. So uh, can we have the agenda slide? Thank you so much. So next up, we have Ms. Sayaka Iwamoto, who is a student at University of Tokyo, and she'll be talking about the University of Tokyo Summer Internship Program. So Ms. Sayaka, off to you. Yes. So let me share my screen. Please just a moment. So now I think you can see my screen. So let me begin with my um let me begin my presentation. Uh again, namaste or good afternoon. Um for for people who listen to the to this presentation. Um my name is Sayaka Iwamoto and let me begin my presentation. But before that, um do you like do you know this movie, The Intern? Do you like this movie or have you ever watched this movie? Um, during this presentation, I'd like to know your reaction. So please feel um, easy to ask questions or to, to post some reaction uh, through the Q&A box. So um, do you like this movie? Yeah, this is one of my favorite too. However, in today's presentation, I will talk about another intern. Uh, it is called here UTSIP. Um, the intern at the University of Tokyo, UTSIP. Uh, before that, I will uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Sayaka Iwamoto again, and I'm studying at uh, University of Tokyo. I major in anthropology, cultural anthropology. And uh, when I was in bachelor course, I belonged to football club. And uh, actually I have been to India uh, last September. I enjoyed in India a lot. It was a nice memory and wonderful experience for me. Uh, especially I, I visited Delhi, Baranasi, uh, Jaipur and Agra. So I found that uh, India is a very diverse country. But uh, however, I tried Indian spicy food, but it was a little too bit spicy for me, but I like it. Uh, these are the photos when I took in India. Uh, I went to Indian Gate and I was impressed because uh, there are a lot of people relaxing uh, near the park of Indian Gate. I liked that scenery. Uh, then, oh, please just a moment. Okay, uh, this is agenda for today. Uh, first of all, I will talk about what is UTSIP, and then uh, I will talk about what can you do, and uh, later I will talk about where is Kashiwa and the schedule for 2023, uh, how to apply UTSIP as the newest information, and a QA and closing. So, uh, what is UTSIP, I will explain about that. UTSIP Kashiwa or UTSHIP Kashiwa stands for University of Tokyo Summer Internship Program in Kashiwa. It provides hands-on research internship opportunities in the field of natural sciences and social sciences. It offers lectures from world leading researchers at GSFS. It means Graduate School of Frontier Sciences. 
It is a seven-week summer program for academically motivated international and graduate students, and it provides a scholarship and accommodations. Uh, where, oh, okay. Uh, this is a map of Japan. And where is Kashiwa? Uh, Kashiwa is um, here, the number 22, the place where I um, I circled with red pen. And uh, the central part of Japan, capital of Japan is Tokyo. Tokyo is a blue part in this map. Kashiwa is actually not located in Tokyo. It is close to Tokyo, but it is another prefecture called Chiba Prefecture. In Chiba Prefecture, there are Disneyland, Disney Resort, or Narita International Airport. So I think our, it's also a good place. Then uh, let me talk about what can you do um, during this UTSIP. You will be assigned to a laboratory in which you are interested to work and you will conduct a research project under the guidance of a faculty member or a senior graduate students. You will also experience Japanese culture and world reading Japanese technology through weekend events and a field trip. Uh, this is a photo of the program. And this is a, a calligraphy, cultural experience of Japan. And these are also photos uh, during the program. Uh, it looks like very uh, memorable or enjoyable experience. So this is the example of schedule. It's scheduled for 2023, but uh, unfortunately, uh, 2023, it has already finished. So you have to, uh, or you, you had better uh, apply for 2024. This is just an example of schedule. There are two program schedules, program A and program B, but both are 47 days program. In first week, there are orientation lectures by leading researchers at GSFS or Japanese language classes. So please don't worry uh, if you don't know how to speak Japanese, you can have class. And in remaining weeks, you can participate, uh, participants will study under the guidance of their respective laboratories after developing a research proposal. And you will gain first-hand experience in the academic research process. On the final day, uh, participants will make a presentation summarizing their research experience and the findings of their research project, followed by the certificate of completion award ceremony. And uh, in this year, so I mean in 2023, the application was due on 16th January and selection result was noticed on 19th, uh, 9th February in 2023. Uh, it is just for your information. Then uh, I will talk about how to apply UTSIP. Uh, you can do the uh, all process online, so you don't have to uh, physically like send something or go to Japan. Uh, you have to fill in online application form or application page. And what you need to apply is uh, really a lot of documents like cover letter, curriculum, beta, copy of your transcript, recommendation letter, certificate of registration, certific certificate of English proficiency, copy of your passport, picture in digital data. And maybe you are interested to know that um, how, how much does it cost to participant, participant um, to join this program. And to participate, it costs um, 15,000 Japanese yen. Uh, it's nearly equal uh, 27,875 Indian rupee. But a financial aid or like a kind of scholarship will be provided. So uh, maybe uh, you, you don't have to worry about that too much. There are um, yes, some financial aid or support. 
Then uh, this is the newest information for you. Uh, the call for application for UTSIP 2024, so I mean next year, will be open in early December. Uh, it's November 25th already. So maybe in a few days or in a few weeks, you can search uh, website and you can see the newest information or like how to apply or the date for date of deadline. So yeah, please look for the information. Uh, UTSIP 2024 will be open in early December. And there are two steps. Step one, choose a professor laboratory to work in form or uh, in, in from the uh, host laboratory list. And step two, apply through the UTSIP online application system. And uh, there is a QR code of website. So you can go to website and there are, are both English page and Japanese page. So please um, confirm it. And uh, after this presentation, I will send my uh, Gmail address and the link of website again through chat box. So yeah, please um, don't hesitate to ask any questions or like uh, contact with me. So in closing, uh, it must be precious experience for you to visit Japan and for joining the internship programs. Uh, when I went to India, I noticed that uh, there are a lot of different cultural difference or like um, in contrary, there are similarity between Japan and India. So maybe you can find um, new things and you can deepen your learnings uh, in Japan. So we are waiting for you in Japan, in University of Tokyo. Uh, this is end of my presentation. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Iwamoto-san, uh, for giving us insight into the University of Tokyo summer internship program. So um, I hope our students are able to learn about this uh, internship programs because I think um, in their second or third years uh, of the university, they really try to enter into the internship program. So I think that kind of helped it. Thanks a lot. Uh, just to be quick, I'll just ask a few questions quickly. Uh, like regarding this internship program. So uh, is it like the student has to be University of Tokyo uh, enrolled? Or is it that um, see if so other university students can also apply uh, for this particular program? Uh, it's only uh, limited during summer vacation. So mm -hmm. um, you, you don't have to um, like uh, in university, you don't have to be in University of Tokyo. So other university students can apply it. Okay. So if the student uh, is pursuing their studies, even from India, they can also apply it, right? Directly sure. to Okay, yes. that's a that's a good opportunity. And second, do we have any kind of a stipend for this particular program, internship program? Stipend provided for this internship program? Uh, where uh, what what is the stipend? Uh, so stipend means if they are getting any kind of uh, say money, uh, or uh, say earnings for this particular program. So do they have that as well or no? Ah uh, yes, uh, there is um like scholarship, financial aid, and okay, um, yeah, it's. Uh, in Japanese, it's um uh, like thirteen, um uh, no one hundred thirty thousand. So uh, maybe uh by getting that scholarship, you can pay their money for um tuition and um a part of your like transportation um airline fee. Okay. Uh, so there is no, like, for example, if they're working so for some hours, do they get paid for those hours or uh, is it like, no, they don't get paid or is it like some sort of other things which are involved? Uh, so do you mean um for scholarship? Uh, no, no, not for the scholarship. It's the right. money which they get into after, um, say, if they're, if, for example, if they're internship, if they're mm -hmm. doing an internship in some particular, uh, in this program, so do they get money? for that or like paid do they get paid for that particular internship or no um maybe yes but i'm not sure sorry okay no worries no worries thank you so much for that and if you can leave your contact details i think that would be very helpful okay thank you thanks a lot okay if we can have the agenda slide please okay thank you thank you 
So uh, next we have uh, the presentation by Ms. Vaishnavi Thakur, who is a PhD student at University of Tokyo, and she's going to be sharing her experience of study in Japan. Thank you, Sankshi-san. Let me share my screen. Uh, I hope it is visible. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining today's webinar. And I'm very glad to be here to share my experience of studying in Japan. Uh, a brief introduction about uh, myself. So before coming to Japan, I completed my bachelor's in India. Uh, I come from Hyderabad and uh, I came here to pursue my master's. After graduating from master's, I continued into the doctoral program. And currently my research is on solar panels where we work on different solar panel technologies. And I'm also a MEX scholarship recipient. So if you have any doubts regarding the MEX scholarship pro process or regarding the application process in the University of Tokyo, so please feel free to ask them in the Q&A portal. And about today's, about this presentation, uh, we'll be covering this content. Like first, let's look into why Japan. Uh, why should we choose Japan as our next study uh, abroad destination? And uh, what is the edu how is the education system in Japan? And what are the various costs involved? And then we'll also look into the scholarships and the application process. So looking into why Japan. So the first and foremost reason we are planning to study abroad or choose another country for uh, our education is to uh, get exposure to world-class research. So there is no doubt that uh, Japan, there is world-class research in Japan because there are so many automobile industries, aerospace companies, and even IT and software sector. So Japan is leading in more, many of the forefronts and the research which is being done in the universities is uh, unparalleled. So if you are someone who is very passionate about uh, doing research or getting into academia, so Japan can be one of your options. And the next option, uh, next factor, which most of the students, parents uh, consider while planning to study abroad is how safe the country is. So it is very common that we hear in news, uh, like how, uh, how Japan stands as is one of the safest countries. And from the recent statistics, it is considered as the 10th safest country in the world. And there is very low crime rate and um, the environment and the atmosphere is very peaceful for employees. But I mean, for the students who are studying here and for the professionals who are working here, Japan offers a very peaceful and a secure environment. So, and the next factor to consider Japan is the accessibility to the public transportation. And uh, and uh, because peer students uh, need not worry about how they'll commute to the schools or uh, to the universities, because the public transportation network is very huge and, and it's also considered as one of the safest options. So even in the last, like late hours, taking the last train, we can safely reach back to our houses through the uh, public transportation. And the last factor is about the health insurance. So uh, when we fall sick or uh, like who can take care of our expenses? So parents usually have this worry. Uh, for that, we have an excellent national health insurance, which covers almost 70% of the expenses which we, we incur while uh, while studying here or while being here. So almost most of the medical expenses are covered in this policy. And other than that, uh, universities also have their own health insurance policies for the students where the rest 30% will be covered. So regarding the health expenses, we need not worry about this at all. So these are some of the factors which I would uh, say which are quite important in considering uh, while we are planning to study abroad. And moving on, uh, let's look into the education system in Japan. So uh, the education system in Japan, that is universities in Japan, are classified into three categories, national, public, and private universities. So there's a difference between the tuition phase among them. Other than that, uh, they offer excellent research, uh, they offer excellent research facilities, and they have a high, high reputation for excellence. So the international collaborations and the research opportunities it offers for the students are very huge, which we'll come to know in the next presentations. I think we have MIE and other universities today, which are presenting about their universities. And another uh, important factor which I would like to emphasize is the admission process in the universities in Japan. So here the admission process is very university cent uh, centered admission process. So universities are responsible to, uh, uh, to give admission to the students. So unlike in India, where we have uh, national entrance exams, like through one entrance exam, we can get admission into various other uh, many universities and colleges. 
but in case of universities in japan we have uh, we have to apply to each and every university separately and the decision about acceptance lies with the university and universities also have their own admission counselors so they can guide you in throughout the process and uh, moving on so the uh, there are uh, we have one uh, misconception that because japanese language is the main language which is used in japan so uh, how can i survive in the universities here are there any uh, english based programs so this is one of the common questions which students usually ask so to look into this we have uh, for undergraduate program there are about 40 universities offering english based programs and for graduate programs, there are around 51 universities with almost 160 courses which are offering English-based programs. So uh, for, when we look into this, so yes, there are uh, English-based programs which, uh, which universities are offering and they're increasing day by day. So I really hope students take advantage of these uh, universities and these programs. And another advantage studying like pursuing graduate programs here uh, in Japan is that, um, uh, for example, when we consider the doctoral program, so the usual uh, the usual number of years with uh, with which we can graduate is, is around three to four years. So uh, this is quite low when we compare to other countries. For example, in US, it takes around five to six years to graduate. And uh, in India, to the uh, especially in the doctoral program to graduate, the number of years is very large. So the, uh, Japan has this advantage here. And uh, next point is about the uh, language classes at the university as well. So once uh, it is uh, it is true that if you know Japanese language, we have an advantage and an edge and it makes our life easy here. So for that purpose, universities also offer language classes to these students so we can take advantage of that. And in the beginning, when we come to Japan, we, um, it is not compulsory to have any Japanese language proficiency because I myself came here with zero Japanese language but to get on with everyday activities so till one year we have a provision of tutor uh, which is allocated by the university some universities have this so we can get into contact with the university and they can uh, provide us a tutor who can help us with our day-to-day -day activities and like i said uh, universities also emphasize on providing language support programs so we have exchange programs with uh, uh, with students and also there are uh, language classes and different activities uh, in every ward that is in every city we live so we can take advantage of uh, learning language through this and uh, looking into the accommodation facilities for these students so usually uh, students here tend to live in either university dormitories which can be on campus or off campus and also the private dormitories so these are like shared houses uh, with common kitchen so we can uh, we can also consider uh, staying here and the other option is the off-campus apartments uh, these tend to be a little uh, expensive but uh, if you are able to get a scholarship and a stipend then we'll be able to live and uh, and afford these places as well so uh, moving on uh, so how much does it cost for us to live and to get on every day so all these calculations are based on my experience and that too it is they are mentioned in Japanese yen so like these are the university fees which uh, which are then uh, like uh, these are the university fees in national public and private universities and in approximately for a student to live uh, to live to have a decent lifestyle and get on uh, with everyday life and to travel around you would need around 1 lakh yen uh, 1 lakh to 1 lakh 20 thousand yen these are the maximum it of course depends upon our like uh, you know way of living and standard of living so the average cost uh, can be somewhere around 1 lakh to 1 lakh 20 thousand Japanese yen. So uh, when we look at uh, the scholarships which are being offered here, so another advantage Japan has is the number of scholarships it, it's offering to the international students. So there are plenty of scholarships. Like I think uh, most of us are aware of the scholarships like MEX, JASO and the other local government scholarships. But besides this, universities also offer n number of scholarships. So in case you did not get mixed or this uh, very popular scholarships, that's completely fine. Try to get uh, admission first into the university and then you can also apply for the university scholarships. So you can note down this list of scholarships which are available. And uh, the application process for the, uh, this is a general application process for the universities. I'm covering here for the uh, graduate school. So the first, uh, the first step is to uh, get an acceptance from the professor. So once you get an acceptance from the professor in the universities, uh, assume that you are almost 80% into the university because this is one of the 
main crucial steps to get uh, admission into the university. So uh, try to find out the research area or the field which you are interested in. And then like I understand that in uh, undergraduate schools in India, we are not focusing a lot on research. So we might not even know like how, how we do research or what, what area I'm interested in. So I'm like, I think many of uh, students face this because I was also there in that uh, position. So just like find out, like visit a university and, with, and the department which you are interested in, visit the uh, yeah. laboratory websites from the lab websites uh, mentioned over there and then uh, look at the uh, professor's profile and then look at the work which they are doing and choose uh, like choose a few professors and try to email them with your resume or with your current with your research proposal and try to get into a contact with professor so this is like i mentioned the admission to universities is very university centric so once you have acceptance from the professor uh, there is like the whole process is just like is like a smooth uh, is like a piece of cake so you just have to follow the uh, instructions given by the professor and the admissions committee in the university and they'll take you through so getting this acceptance from the professor is very important so like i mentioned this is the admission process here so first we need to get uh, an acceptance from the professor and later on we might have some interviews or exams and then according to the admission timeline, uh, parallelly, we can also apply for this scholarship once we get an university admin. So this is a general application process in the universities. And looking at some of the challenges which I have faced initially, like I think I have emphasized uh, enough on Japanese language. And uh, also, like I said, there are a few entrance exams in some universities, not all universities have them. And other uh, one of the common challenges which we seem to face, especially in initial days, is about the food. So there are many Indian grocery stores and Indian restaurants very like uh, very close by and there are plenty of Indian restaurants as well. So we can have uh, food from there. And other than that, uh, like once we get uh, once we get a hang of the Japanese food or because Japanese food is very rich and very diverse. And also, like I mentioned, there is availability of Indian food options and grocery stores. So because we are we have come to uh, come to a new country, new city, and new place. So why not? Like we can explore the other cuisines and uh, and taste other food as well. So Japan and Japan provides us all these opportunities. And uh, moving on. So uh, I think I'll end it here because we are uh, we are running short out of time. So looking uh, look like uh, have giving a brief overall idea about life in Japan. So. Uh, the life is going to be very peaceful, very convenient, both a student life and a professional life as well. So there are plenty of scholarships available from the universities as well. So I hope all the students uh, take advantage of this opportunity of studying in Japan. And if there are any questions, so please feel free to post them in the Q&A portal. We would love to answer them. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Vaishnavi, uh, for uh, providing us the insight about your uh, life in Japan. And I hope our students will has, has got some little bit of motivation and will definitely try for studying in Japan. Thanks a lot. Can we have the agenda slide, please? Uh, yes, just give me a moment. Sure. Uh, so uh, next, we have a presentation by Mie University. Uh, Mie University is a national university situated in Mie Prefecture, Japan. As with other national universities, it has been uh, the National University Corporation since April 2004. And today we've been joined by Mr. Satoshi Kaneko, who will be giving us, uh, who will be talking about the universities. So, um, Mr. Kaneko, to you. Yes. Yes, you... Can you he, can you hear my voice? Uh, yes. Can you please okay. uh, share the screen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. Now slide show. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, it's okay. My start. Yes, please go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, University. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, 
Uh, I'm uh, uh, Satoshi Kaneko. I'm director of the Center for International Edu Education and Research, uh, vice president on uh, international affairs. So, very sorry. Uh, my university, uh, uh, this one is uh, National University. My university provides world class uh, community based education and research focusing upon the uh, harmonious uh, coexistence of nature and mankind. My university, uh, uh, this one, my university, some uh, uh, logo, and uh, mm, this one. Uh, This one logo and means that this is some uh, uh, color is green. Means uh, has a uh, uh, much green for the uh, like forest. The university uh, uh, from me to the world. This is a concept. So and the university has uh, five faculty, uh, faculties and six graduate students. Five faculties. Uh, Humanity, law and economics, education, medicine, engineering, biosources, and uh, regional. Uh, this one, uh, uh, graduate school of engineering, uh, graduate school, uh, regional innovation and studies. This four, four uh, graduation had and uh, just graduate school uh, has a PhD course. And uh, university student uh, is more than around seven thousand five hundred. This is a university campus map. University one campus, so university has a much green, and uh, just university has a hospital. Uh, so uh, university. Uh, graduate school of medicine, graduate school of engineering, graduate school School, humanity and raw uh, economics, and uh, just bio resources and education. And Mirce has a uh, beautiful seaside campus with brilliant, brilliant greens. So, and the university, uh, uh, one is a graduate school uh, of bio resources, has a C, SIP. And the university near the, this one uh, is Ise Bay. University, this one campus in university has a uh, winter season has a snow and this one uh, central road uh, has a much green and this is near the Isebe and university hall. Uh, university is from partner university in the world is all uh, uh, foreign uh, students to 2250 more than 250 students. Uh, half is Asia uh, and half is European and North America, uh, Oceania and Africa and South America. This one is the university uh, accommodation. Uh, this one uh, much green. So uh, this one has uh, laundry and kitchen and uh, this one separate some separate room has a toilet or a shower room. Mm -hmm. University is one of the uh, most uh, satisfactory uh, university for foreign students in Japan because quite environment uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, this is big city, so uh, not real Japan, uh, so uh, just quite uh, environment and real Japanese life. And this one talk not, uh, not like Tokyo, Nagoya, Osaka. The local people saw this one with very warm and kind. And this is very important, uh, low building and living cost, uh, very cheap compared with Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. Extremely good access to Nagoya, Osaka, Kyoto, Tokyo. This one, you can enjoy everything. This is always Mie. Mie is Mie Prefecture in the middle in Japan. 
and this one in Japan, uh, this one around Tokyo, and here Osaka, between Tokyo and Osaka. So from Osaka uh, to university, 1.5 uh, hour to by train, and Kyoto is also very near. And now is one year, and now we are to Tokyo is 1.5. This is uh, uh, this one, University is Ise Bay, and Pearl, Ise Shinto, F1, Shurin, and Ama. This one, University, when winter season has a snow. University, sometime, uh, 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 what's famous for university? Because UNESCO school uh, two and uh, two zero two zero for SD four is top ranking and environmentally advanced university. For example, uh, the top ranking two zero uh, two thousand nineteen for SD is the top. The ninja is famous and uh, uh, Central Ocean Research Center is also famous. Uh, university has a very famous, most uh, 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 very fam uh, famous as most advanced eco and environmental friendly university in Japan. This one is more than 30 awards in the last 10 years. This is 2019. Uh, university is, is uh, this one is. Uh, number one, uh, SDG is, is 12, is number one is Japan. So Ninja is famous in uh, university, uh, uh, course of Ninja study. International research, university has international research center for Ninja study. This is AMA. This is AMA, uh, also AMA research center. AMA is techni technician for the for example, uh, in the sea, deep sea, can catch the uh, shrimp or uh, shell. This one finally, uh, university has uh, uh, understanding the physiology and ecology of oil and dolphin. This is uh, Central Shen Research Center, university. Okay, please, if interested in university, please come and join us. Please uh, feel free to contact us uh, anytime. This is uh, ryugaku at mark ab.miau.ac Japan. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, Satoshi san. I think uh, our students got into the university, what in me university has to offer. Um, I really liked about uh, the course in AMA and Ninja studies because that is something really particularly unique to Japan. So if you could let us know, uh, like, 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 what's the application process like, and what are what are the job scopes after doing this particular course? So maybe this is something which not many of the students opt for. So maybe something if you could give them some more information on these studies, maybe our students get uh, can know what yeah. this course yeah. has to offer. Yeah, AMA is uh, uh, this one some technician for you know the AMA is uh, deep sea uh, in the deep sea catch. Uh, uh, some shrimp and uh, share. This is some technician. So we uh, we study the amateur job. Uh, uh, so we can uh, study the, uh, for example, uh, just uh, sea environment or uh, just uh, life of uh, uh, share or uh, uh, shrimp. Uh, so uh, all of the related uh, area for uh, uh, see and uh, this uh, uh, how much a job understand? Uh, yes, uh, I think yes, a, a little bit understood. Thank you so much. How about okay. ninja studies? Like ninja how how is this course perceived in Japan? Like what yeah, are ninja, the scope for that? Ninja also very uh, just ninja uh, just uh, very. Uh, uh, ninja life is very so healthy. For example, food or uh, uh, day mo morning uh, get up and uh, 
not early the uh, sleep and we can study the ninja style we can uh, know the uh, situation of healthy and uh, just uh, uh, in, uh, old uh, uh, culture or old uh, 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 old environment we can study okay the one last question i would like to ask uh, are there any admissions currently open for masters program in management business analytics or international relationships at relationships at me university so 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 yeah just uh, we have a uh, graduate school of uh, just uh, wine uh, management course so uh, if you interested in management course regional innovation this one uh, graduate school of regional innovation this is management course okay so are the uh, admissions currently open for that yeah oh uh, if okay. you interested please apply the master course okay okay thank you so much satoshi san if you could leave your contact details on the chat box maybe our students are asking questions uh, on a q and a if you could also answer questions related to me university okay. as well as leave your contact details on the chat box so that students can get in touch with you or the admissions office directly if they have any future okay so that will be okay, great thank ah uh, thank you thank you so much satoshi thank you thanks a lot for joining can we have the gender slide Uh, so next up, we have the presentation by Jose University. So the, this university was also selected among the top 37 global universities in Japan. And to uh, present this university, we have Professor Yu Kepping, who will be talking about the Institute of Integrated Science and Technology at the Jose University. So Professor. Okay, so thank you so much. So uh, I will share my screen. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for your kind invitation. So today uh, I will introduce uh, the Jose University, the English-based uh, graduate program. So we call this is IIST. So the full name is Institute of Integrated Science and Technology. So actually this is not a specific institute, it's just the English-based uh, graduate program. Okay. So first, I want to <laughs> take a short time to introduce uh, Japan, Tokyo, and our university. Okay, so first about Japan. So every people knows this is a very beautiful country with very highly developed, and uh, we have and uh, it has a very good culture and a very delicious food. So, and of course, so the, for Jose University, so which is located in uh, Tokyo, right? So about the Tokyo, so it has very beautiful nature and uh, uh, and the urban life coexist. So, and we all know so Tokyo is the most memorable city right, for the working and living, even after a student graduation. So, and for the Hosei University, so actually we have the three campus, uh, uh, all are in the Tokyo, right? So, this is our the Ichikawa campus, right, uh, which is in the central of the Tokyo. And for for our graduate, for the computer science, right, so uh, we have, we, we are, have another compass. We call this the Kogane compass, right? So, which actually this is uh, very convenient. So, if you take the train from the our the Kogane compass to the Shinjuku station, right? So, which um, which is one of the most famous station in the Tokyo, only take the twenty one minutes, right, by the train. And okay, so for the Hosei University, so which is founded in the eighteen eighty, right? So. Uh, it uh, it is also the one of the oldest university uh, in Japan, and uh, we are very uh, promote right. So the campus, the globalizations, right. So it has uh, very well equipment to study and research on the cutting edge uh, the science and technology. Uh, as introduced before, so the Hosei University is also one of the top global university, right, by the MEXT uh, from the year 2014 to the 2023, right? And in this uh, the program, top global university in Japan, and there are 37 universities are appointed, right? And we have about 30,000 uh, students, and we have 50 the undergraduate uh, the faculties and 14 graduate schools, and three are uh, the affinity, the junior high and the high schools. Here we have some numbers for Hosei University. 
uh, first about the number of applications, right? So uh, from the uh, in the last year, two thousand twenty-two, Hosei uh, University is ranking number one right, among the private university in Japan, and we have uh, more than two hundred sixty-three the partner university in the world, and uh, yeah, <coughs> and of course the, this uh, university located in the forty-seven countries right, and regions. Uh, this data is based on year in the December 2022, right? And until now, we have more than 500,000 graduations, right? Gradu graduates. Of course, we have some other from the, uh, uh, the students, uh, the favorite university in Japan, the Hosei is ranking as uh, number six. Okay, so next time we introduce some of the global policy right? uh, from the Hosei University. First about educating uh, individuals as uh, capable of the working and living anywhere in this world. So we want to our student, right? Not only can work in Japan, we, we wish they have the capability uh, to work in anywhere, right, in this world. So we have many lectures in English, uh, English based uh, degree right, program, and we have many the uh, international internships, right? So, and we create a global campus, right, with the expansion of the university, the international student, and exchange student program. So, uh, so it for the student at Jose, right? And it has uh, many opportunities to start to study abroad and increase the number of overseas affairs universities, right? And uh, until now, right, we have accepted more than three thousand international students, right? Career students support and Japanese education for the international students. And the uh, next one is about improvement and uh, in international. Uh, it's uh, academic and research structure, right? So we launch the World Class Research Center, global standard, the academic support, and some of the faculty development. Actually, I just uh, joined Jose University from the last year, right? So, but I can feel right, this is a very good uh, uh, opportunity, right? To have the self development uh, at the Jose University. And last one is about creating the global and global relations network with alumni, right? high school, and other communities. So we, as we said before, we have more than 200 partner universities. So our, for our university, as a student, right, they have many chance to study abroad. Okay, and next one is about English-based program. So we have many uh, English-based programs, so which can like the IST, uh, which is for the science and engineer course. Next one, GIS, right, ESOP. Right, for the Japanese Society, the MBA, right, GBP, and the SLP, right. So we have different the English based program, but now because I uh, I am the vice director for the IST, so today I will take more time to introduce the IST special uh, specifically for the science and engineering course. And actually, so the IST uh, is is not so long history, right? We built the IST from the two thousand sixteen September, and all course given in English, right. And the two great school cooperate, right? So first one is about great school of computer and information science. And the second one is about great school of science and engineering, right? So, and uh, for this program, so, and we don't need uh, every student and professor can speak English. And of course, for the research and the, the, the thesis defense, we all use English, right? Of course, we encourage the student to study the Japanese culture and Japanese language, right? So. Uh, this is for IST program, right? So we provide actually it's more than life, life fields of study toward right for the master and PhD, right? Which include like global information system, like the, some of the network communication system, right? like some business analysis and applying and the, the material information processing and many many, right? So we provide many many different the fields of study, right, for the international students. Now here I, I will take some time to introduce the academic activities, right? First for uh, for our professors, we have very uh, uh, many many famous professors in our university, right? Which include like the HB Life Fellow, HB Fellow, and the, some of the the highly cited researchers. So actually, in this year, I'm very lucky, right? I was selected as the highly cited researcher in this world, and we also have some professors in the IG Nobel Prize, right? And for students, right, we encourage uh, the student to take to attend the international conference, right? So. Uh, so the university uh, give additional budget. Right? Of course, the professor can support the university to, to attend the international conference. But however, right, our the university give a, a additional budget right for student to to attend the international conference. Right. So we care about the students, the, the international, the the how to say the students 
uh, have much more chance right, to study abroad. And of course, we have many cooperation like the, with a famous uh, company like NTT, right, Hitachi, and many, many other comp the company and research uh, institute. Ah, here is just an example. So Professor the, the, the Sataloni uh, Okamula received the highly cited researcher, right? And uh, uh, this is for the Professor the Toshiyuki right? Nakata. Uh, uh, received the IG Lober Prize, right? So, ah, this is very interesting for the QR code, right? So actually, so this is very used very widely in, in this world, right? So uh, many people use the QR code, right? For, for especially for the payment, right? But however, maybe not so many people know, right? Uh, the, the the doctor, a lot of the, the Mr. The, the Masahino, right? Hana. Uh, Hala, so invented the QR code in the 1994, right? So who is coming from the Jose University? Okay, so actually, as we said before, so the IST is not, uh, it's very young actually, right? So so we just have the seven years uh, history, right? But however, right, so we uh, we published many good uh, papers, right? Uh, so until the March 2021, almost maybe the, the four or five years, right? So we have published the, the in total 133 the good papers right for the international conference and the top journals so we we are very confident right for the student joining jose right, we can have do many the interesting research right, and publish many good papers right this is for the major right so for the ist program so as we said before we have uh, the two the uh, graduate school during this program right and for the first grade school, the computer and the information science, right? We provided a major uh, about the computer and the information science. Uh, and for the the second grade school, right, science and engineering, right? We provide another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight right, majors, which including the mechanical engineering, right? The, the applied chemistry, uh, uh, the electronic and electronic engineering, applied informatics, right, system engineering and science. Uh, which including the advanced uh, size track and uh, management size track, right? And of course, we also included the frontier, the bioscience, uh, the, 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 the frontier bioscience field and the clinical, the plant science field, right? Here I want to highlight, okay, so only uh, there are two majors, uh, the mechanical engineering and applied informatics, right? Oh, sorry, the mechanical engineer and the system engineer and science, advanced science track, we only provide the PhD Course, right, not to include, not provide the master course. Maybe in the future, right? So we will provide both. Okay, and this is very important. This is for the, the, the mission procedure, right? Because we want to have much more uh, good students to join Jose. So we have very simple admission procedure, right? So our uh, admission procedure is very simple, right? Which including two steps. First, about the documents uh, screen, right? So if you are interested to our university, uh, so you can apply uh, submit the, the application document, right? So first is for the doc document screen, and next one is the online interview. So we will hold a online interview, right, to check the the student the the, uh, the quality, right? And so and here we have no any the written test, right, is included here. So so please don't hesitate to apply for our program, okay? <laughs> Okay, and because it's the English based of the program, so we have some of the English requirement, right? So, um, because our currently our IS students come from different countries, right? Maybe more than 30 or 40 countries students. So uh we we don't want to use English to limit it, right? As a student. So we said the English is not so very high English requirement, right? So the TOEF, so we only have the uh, 32, right? The minimal score is 32. And TOEIC is 680, and the IELTS uh, TS is 55. Right? This is not so difficult, I think. Okay, so next I will introduce the master degree requirement and the PhD degree requirement. So for the master degree requirement, we we want to the student as much more lecture experiment. Right? So so we will have 20 credits for the lecture course and 10 credits for the research project. And of course, so the the, the master students should. Uh, should do the research uh, with uh, has the, the professors right guidance. So we need also write the final thesis and uh, pass the, the thesis defense right. He can get the master uh, degree. Okay, and of course we provided the free uh, Japanese course right. Okay, 
And next one about the PhD degree requirement, right? So for the PhD student, uh, we need the student to take much more time, right? Focus on research. So, so we 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 didn't right have uh, too much the the lecture course, right? So I we the students should focus on the special research, some some the special seminar like the coursework subject, right? And the thesis, right? So the paper publication is very important for the PhD student. Okay, this is some the compass knife. Okay, compass knife. So actually, until now, we from the two thousand sixteen, we uh only the maybe seven seven years, right? We have many many the international count the, the student right from the different countries already. And yeah, this is the data is for the cost of living in Japan. Right? I think maybe professor the other professor already introduced this one. So actually, this data is come from our current student, right? So because uh, we give the data from every kind of interest student. So every month, we will maybe spend the 90,000 Japanese money to the 130 Japanese money. But because we have many, many scholarships, and of course, we have many in the, work, the working experiment, like the RA, right? The teaching system, research system. So, and we also have many in the tuition fee reduction, right? So, so for the, each student, right? At least he can get the income from the, the 15,000 to the 190,000. Right, uh, every month. So, yeah, this is for Cantonese, the Jose University, the student. Right? Okay, this is for the tuition fee. Right? So, so, uh, so this is for the master and the PhD. Right, this is in the for Japanese money. Uh, okay, so, however, right, so even though our the tuition fee is a little bit expensive than the national university, right? But however, right, we have many scholarship. Okay, so here I just name it. Right, uh, actually we have many many scholarship. Right, so. And we just need some some very limited scholarship here, and for the tuition, uh, and uh, here I want to highlight right, especially for the research grant for the doctor course right. So this is no any limitations. If you apply, we can give this money to you right. And of course, so and many scholarship like ISD, the Denny, the Lang scholarship right. This is for some of the Asia the countries, um, but I'm not sure maybe including India or not right. Maybe not including India right, but for the like the. Other countries, right? This are also very good opportunities. And for the, all the self-supporting international students, we can we can provide at least right the twenty percent tuition discount, right? And as I said before, we have many working chance, right? Uh, especially for the teaching assistant, for research assistant, and the tutor, right? So we have many chance to get the money, right? So don't worry about the uh, the money issues, right? Just focus on research, focus on the study. Okay, this is for the the time schedule, right? So how to apply. So actually, so uh, for the next year, September admission, right? Actually, every year we have only one chance for admission, right? And maybe some little bit different with other university. So because and I know some students can 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 join, can admission, can admit. So in April and September, right? But for our university, we only accept the international students in the September, right? So if you want to join Jose in the next September, you should right, send the the question there, yeah, right? To 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 find your supervisor, right? So you just from this uh from our the website, right? You can uh, this QR code, right? You can and later I will share our the official the website, right? You can find uh the, this place. You should list your supervisor, right? Uh, by the middle of the March, right? And of course, so if we after we get the, your information, I will give the pre match, right? With uh, between the the student and the professor, right? If you pass the pre match, right, we will uh we will share this information to the student by email, and the student can send the official application document, right, by the, in the first two weeks in April, and of course we will hold uh, the uh, the online interview, right, on our interview, uh, by the middle of the May, by the middle of the May, right. So and if you pass this interview, right, you can get the offer, right, by the end, end of May, right, and of course after you get the offer, uh, our the department will support for the visa for the everything, right? So you can come to the Japan, come to our university, right? Uh, in the September of next year, right? Okay, so this for the next year, right? So I mean, the, this is for uh, this Google form by the, the middle of the March, right? So this is the first step, right? Send the questionnaire, right? To find your supervisor, right? You can, uh, how to say, uh, scan, scan this QR code, right? Okay, so we are waiting for your application and thank you so much. Right? Actually, this is our official right? official the, the the IST the website, right? Later I will also share this website in the QR in the chat box or the QR box, right? 
Okay, and I have maybe the four minutes. Okay, here I can share our video video from the IST. Okay. Jose University, founded in 1880, is one of the historic universities in Japan. Hogane campus of Jose University is located in the suburbs of Tokyo with easy access to the city center. The campus is large and beautiful with a lot of greenery. There are adequate research facilities with the latest technological equipment we provide a pleasant study environment, and this campus is ideal for your university life. In Japan, you can encounter fascinating and unique culture, delicious food, and cutting-edge science and technology. Also, you can enjoy the changing seasons while studying. Choosing Japan as your destination will give you a valuable experience in your life. In 2016, Jose University launched an English-based graduate program called IIST, which stands for Institute of Integrated Science and Technology. IIST was established by the Graduate School of Computer and Information Sciences and the Graduate School of Science and Engineering as a cooperative program. It aims to develop human resources who can contribute to international society through interdisciplinary study across the sciences. IIST has both master's and doctoral programs, and there are over 100 faculty members. There are seven majors offered at IIST, computer and information sciences, mechanical engineering, applied chemistry, electrical and electronic engineering, applied informatics, systems engineering and science, and Frontier Bioscience. More than 100 courses from six cross-major learning fields are provided. You can carry out interdisciplinary research beyond your major. There are also Japanese language classes to help you to build Japanese language skills. I have addition, so the time's up now. You can various career the support. Video, sorry. OK, so no problem. And later, I will share this with you, Nick, right? You can, uh, you can see this video if you are interested. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. Okay. Thanks a lot, Professor Kipping. I think uh, that was quite educative uh, of whatever information you, you've provided for Jose University. Uh, I'll take a couple of questions from our Q&A portal. I, I, I think okay. our students are interested to know more about the Jose Universities. Okay. So uh, does uni uh, Jose University accepts students from, say, open schooling? So in India, we have some kind of open schooling. So do uh, do they accept the students from, Jose, uh, like, uh, from the open schooling? Do they need to present? Present some sort of documentation for that. If you can give us some insight into this, that would be helpful. Okay, so so okay, I will I can show you later, but I'm not sure. So I will ask our office. So oh, okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, that it's okay. Uh, second, like the fee structure that was shown uh, on this, like the presentation for the master's program, was it for the whole program or was it for was it like divided into year? Uh, so for the actually so. As I said before, so we have many English-based programs. So, but because I just chose for the IST for the, the science and engineer, right? So, for the IST, we only have this eight majors, right? And uh, yeah, we have the maybe nine majors, but we have two majors we cannot provide the the master, right? Only in the PhD. So we have the maybe seven majors we can provide the post the master and the PhD. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot, Professor. And if you could leave your contact details on our chat box so uh, students can get in touch with you directly. So that would be very helpful. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Can we have the agenda slide? Uh, so next up, uh, we have uh, uh, the last presentation from Totori University. So Totori University specializes in regional sciences, medical, agricultural, agriculture, and engineering. So like 
to be honest to to tell you the truth like one of the most a uh, bizarre feature about totori is the sand dunes so you have had uh, seen sand dunes say in the middle east but uh, there is a sand dune in totori which is a sh very short drive from uh, totori university and which completely makes it unique in japan something like sahara desert so with this i leave to professor katagiri from the center for international affairs and professor nokami uh from a department of chemistry and Bi biotechnology who will be providing us insights into the graduate school of engineering at totori university okay thank you very much miss sakshi i'm gonna share my screen Can you see my presentation? Yes, Professor, we can see it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for giving us the opportunity to present today. Hello, everyone. Namaste. Uh, welcome to the session of Tottori University. Our presentation uh, consists of two parts. The first part is an introduction to Tottori University which I will present. I'm Junji Katagiri, uh, Associate Professor of Center for International Affairs. And the uh, second part is the educational programs of Graduate School of Engineering, which will be presented by Professor Nokami. Uh, he's a professor of the Department of Chemistry and Biotechnology of the Faculty of Engineering. Okay, now let me start the first part, uh, the introduction to Totori University. Uh, our university is one of the national universities in Japan and is located in Totori Prefecture. And it has about 6,000 students, about 5,000 undergraduates and about 1,000 graduate students. So where is Totori? This is a map of Japan and uh, there are two major cities in Japan, Tokyo and Osaka. If you arrive in Tokyo, you can take the train and it takes uh, to uh, Totori and it takes about 75 minutes. And if you arrive in Osaka, you can come to Totori by either bus or train. And it takes about three hours. And where is Totori University? This is a map of the Totori Prefecture. Uh, Totori University has two campuses. The campus on the right is the main campus uh, called Koyama Campus. And the uh, one on the left is Yonago campus, uh, where the Faculty of Medicine and the University Hospital are located. So other faculties and graduate schools are in the main campus. So Total is the countryside away from major cities. Therefore, it may not be a big city but the university is surrounded by a lot of beautiful nature, as you can see from all the photos here. Our campus is close to the sea and mountains, so you can enjoy nature anytime. Especially famous is the Totori Sand Dune. Uh, Ms. Sakshi just uh, mentioned about this dune, right? It's shown in the upper left photo. And the largest pond in Japan is right behind our campus. So when you are tired of research, you can relax in nature. At our university, you can interact with Japanese students and local community members. There are various events such as participating in local festivals and there was a, also a tour to experiencing skiing 
because there are mountains in Tottori where it snows in winter. And we offer Japanese courses for international students who want to learn the Japanese language. And in the class of Japanese course, Japanese students uh, will be your partners and help you with your Japanese studies. In addition, you will have chances to discuss various topics in English at the English Cafe with Japanese people, which is held occasionally. So in this way, international students have many opportunities to interact with Japanese people in our university. Now let's talk about the research field. Uh, we have four faculties with globally recognized research. They are the Faculty of Regional Sciences, the Faculty of Medicine, the Faculty of Agriculture, and Faculty of Engineering. Among them, there are two faculties that offer courses in English. In master's program, uh, there are agricultural science and dryland science. Because we have sand dune near our university, it is a famous field of the research. And in the doctoral program, there are the United Graduate School of Agriculture Sciences, which is called UGASAS for short, and the Graduate School of Engineering. Uh, today, among them, we will focus on the Graduate School of Engineering. So let's move on to the next part, the educational program of the Graduate School of Engineering. Uh, I will hand it over to Professor Nokami. Uh, Nokami Sensei, onegai shimasu. I will close my sharing. This is the one. Uh, this is uh, can you hear me? Can you see uh, my slides? Ah, yes. yes, professor. We oh, can see. Uh, okay. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, this is Toshiki Nokan uh, from Totori University. Uh, today I'd like to introduce a uh, graduate school of engineering, a uh, PhD course of uh, graduate school of engineering. So, uh, give me a moment to introduce myself. I'm professor of chemistry in Totori University. I moved to Totori University about 11 years ago and uh, promoted to full professor four years ago. And now I'm running an indep independent uh, research group. So uh, I started from Kyoto University, moved to ETA Zurich uh, only one year, go back to Kyoto and moved to Totori Universities. I think um, studying abroad is a wonderful experience. Uh, I, I studied only one year in ETH Zurich, Switzerland, but uh, uh, that was a wonderful experience. So uh, you will touch the culture, touch culture and history of that country, uh, maybe in Japan, I hope. And uh, you will also think about your own country, uh, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, or Sudan, uh, 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 some uh, Southwest countries. Uh, so it's wonderful ex uh, experience. So I recommend my student, also my student, to go abroad uh, to study, uh, uh, I hope, chemistry. Um, as I, uh, uh, Professor uh, Katagiri uh, mentioned, uh, uh, we are one of the uh, national universities uh, in Japan. Uh, our university is relatively small, but uh, we have a history of more than 100 years uh, as a uh, higher education uh, in the higher education system. So our universities started from a total college of 
agriculture um, 1920. And a medical school started in 1944, actually, uh, during the World War II. And now uh, we are one of the national universities, uh, university system since 1949. So everything is, uh, is um, innovated after the World War II. And uh, the Faculty of Engineering is the youngest faculty in a university since 1965. So uh, I think the, but the engineering is one of the most important um, uh, study uh, in Japan. Uh, you can see the high speed train, I think that will be available in India in near future, I hope and a tall tower uh, over 600 meter, which is also available because of the uh, engineering and super computer in Kobe, not far from here. And some drug uh, production is also very important field of engineering, especially chem chemical engineering. So engineering has a power to change the society. And uh, Japan is one of the most advanced country to study engineering. So uh, I will move to our own faculty of engineering, the youngest and the largest faculty uh, with four departments. So we cover the mechanical and physical engineering, electronic engineering and computer science, chemistry and biotechnology, social systems and civil engineering. So basically we cover the all uh, research area of engineering in our small uh, universities. You can see the, the buildings of uh, our faculties. Uh, I'm talking from, from this room. Any, anyway, uh, Oh, this is a little bit, little bit busy slide. Uh, the, here I show uh, some uh, research area will uh, cover a broad area of research uh, area of engineering. So maybe you can, I hope you can find uh, the, the words that you are interested in. If you are interested in the details, please uh, uh, check the our website and you will find the detail of our uh, pro project and research group. So uh, I'm uh, belongs to the Department of Chemistry and Biotechnologies. So the Department of Chemistry and Biotechnologies covers uh, also many fields of uh, chemical research and, and the biochemistry as well. So biopolymers like uh, chitin, chitosans, uh, polysaccharides, we are also developing catalyst. Uh, um, enzymology is also very important field of research in our department. Uh, crystallography, uh, especially biocrystallography, is also very important. Uh, electrochemistry is also um, uh, uh, Japan is one of the strongest chem uh, strongest countries um, about the electrochemistry batteries, lithium ion batteries. So we developed the lithium ion batteries. And the synthetic organ chemistry, uh, we are devoted, uh, our group is devoted to the, uh, this research field. And this is also very important uh, research field. And Japan is also very good at uh, synthetic organic chemistry. So uh, please uh, go to the detail of our, our own research group. Uh, give me a, a second. Um, so this is a group picture. Uh, unfortunately, this is the last year. So we have uh, one uh, Bangladesh student from and uh, one uh, post of, uh, from India. So our, uh, this is a selected project of our group. So we are, our group is interested in uh, uh, organic synthesis, electrochemistry, and carbohydrates. And uh, some of these uh, uh, projects are supported by uh, uh, Japanese government, especially uh, JSPS or JST. And uh, our relationship with industry is, uh, for example, pharmaceuticals, fine chemicals, materials, 
polymers, papers, energy, and fuels. So, um, so our research is very closely related to industry. So uh, our students will easily find out uh, their own jobs uh, in industry uh, if they want. So how to apply? Uh, so please contact an uh, admission office or international affairs office and professors. Um, unfortunately, uh, we just closed the uh, application started from April 2024. Uh, so uh, uh, you can start from October 2024. Uh, you have to apply uh, from June 14th to 19th, 2024. Oh, thank you for your kind attention. So uh, this is my picture when I visited Guwahati in, in India last December pro with a Professor Kanchara. So this is a picture with uh, my student and the former pastor, my PhD student, Sujit from uh, Pune in India. Uh, this is a group picture last year, uh, PhD student uh, Azad, uh, Azad uh, from, from near Dhaka, uh, Bangladesh. And this is uh, our former um, pastor, uh, Titri Ghosh, uh, Dr. Titri Ghosh. Uh, from uh, Kolkata. Uh, thank you again uh, for your kind attention, and we welcome you to the Graduate School of Engineering at Total University. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Nokami and uh, uh, Professor Katagiri, uh, and giving us and, and giving us the information on Totori University. Uh, so we'll begin with the Q and A uh, session. So first up, I would like to know that apart from engineering program, do you also have management programs at Totori University? Or management or, or what? So uh, management, uh, as in in terms of business management or business, MBA. No, no, no. Uh, we have a uh, uh, as you can see. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, um, social uh, uh science uh, is also available in the uh, Department of, of Engineering. Uh, for example, uh, to manage the traffic. So, for example, uh, this kind of, but not general management. So, uh, um, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, second, I would like to know about some short-term programs. Uh, so, at uh, for example, if you have any short-term programs in collaboration with Indian universities. So, generally, we receive questions like, can we do an exchange program with the university, say, some in Indian universities in India? IIT or some other engineering universities with Totoro University. So, do you have that kind of programs available? Um, uh, not our department, but um, I think um, electronic department has uh, strongly connected to the Pune uh, so Institute of Technology, or or, uh, or yeah, one of the professor has connection with the Pune uh, Pune Institute of uh, Technology. So, uh, uh, I I believe that we have at least one. And also, uh, my colleague uh, in the same department has a strong connection in uh, University of Kuruna in Bangladesh. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, two professors visited us uh, this uh, September. So we have uh, also connection, but in that case, no, uh, no exchange student exchange. Um, at, uh, so. Called, okay. Have, no, okay. Uh, thank, thank okay. Okay. No worries. No worries. Thank you so much, Professor. And uh, a few questions on the general uh, life at Totori. Uh, like Totori is, uh, to be honest, personally to me also, it's quite an amazing place because it has the sand dunes, which uh, Professor uh, Katagiri just mentioned. So, like as compared to other cities in Tokyo, or sorry, other cities in Japan, how is Totori like um, in terms of survival? Like, uh, is it? Like, is the accessibility to uh, places easily available, uh, say supermarkets or stations and stuff like that? Should I? Uh, is easy. Is easy. Um, yeah, normal life is very easy. No need to wait for a long queue or the not crowded. Um, or maybe um, Indian people are maybe uh, surprised uh, why this small city has a university, national universities. Uh, so right. it's so quiet, so cheap. Uh, so normal life is very easy. So, uh, but sometimes problem is um, not so many people. So when I had a, 
uh, student, uh, uh, Sujit, uh, he came from Pune. He was, unfortunately, he was the only Indian student at that time. It's really, uh, it's a bit ridiculous. So, uh, but uh, I hope that we should have more uh, foreign students, uh, especially from uh, Southwest Asian countries. We have a little bit of uh, uh, student from Bangladesh, yes, but uh, not, not so many from India. So uh, I strongly recommend Indian um, students, bachelor's students to come to uh, Totori universities and uh, uh, do their own research uh, in Totori University. Definitely. And how's the cost of living in Totori like as very compared cheap, to other... Very cheap. Yeah. One of the, the cheapest. I think it's cheapest. Cheapest. Okay. And yes, uh, our think... international house, uh, um, oh, it's only one year, uh, but uh, they have uh, they can have a room at, at international house. That costs... Um, Hmm? Six, six hundred, no, five hundred to six hundred US USD per month for the rent, the rent, rent, rent fee. Uh, oh, uh, no, no, sorry, fee, no, fifty, fifty to sixty USD per month. No. <laughs> it's no, it's very very cheap. So um, yeah. I think um, oh, Tokyo is a nice city. So uh, uh is Osaka is also a nice city. But right. why not? We can go there by uh, one hour by train. Right, just, exactly. just see it, just see it and enjoy it, and come back to Totori and uh, focus on on research. Oh, right. you, can do I... the, you can do the research everywhere, especially chemical research. You can do it everywhere. So uh, even in a small city, is, and uh, you can just be beautiful uh, natural surroundings. So when you are tired, uh, you can enjoy the beautiful nature as Katagiri Sensei mentioned. So that is uh, what I doing in uh, every day. So <laughs> anyway. Right. Thank you so much, uh, professors. Uh, I think, uh, yes, I mean, I, Japan is encouraging a lot of uh, even Indian students to come and um, at least explore the unexplored part of Japan uh, and cities like Totori or any yeah, remote yeah, cities. Yeah, yeah apart from Tokyo or Osaka is quite it's quite a good start because um, you like you correctly mentioned you can focus on your studies while you can also yeah. enjoy other other part of things yeah I, did, I last year I visited Guwahati Guwahati is also a bit far from the big cities uh, but even right. that is also a big city <laughs> for, for, right. for us uh, <laughs> Guwahati is a million uh, people so um, it's big but uh, yeah Right, exactly. And I, I and I also believe that is just my perception as well, because university, say some universities in the remote area, you can also get good scholarships. Uh, right. And it's just it's, it's a beginning. Maybe you can start your career from that. And maybe eventually, if you want, you can move out of the city. So I think um, that's a really uh, yeah. good part of uh, studying in Japan. And yeah. I hope uh, and thank you so much for the presentation. And I hope our students got to know what uh, Toto University has to offer. And I believe that uh, for all the other universities, our students will definitely consider um, applying to that. And professors, I really want you to please leave your contact details on the chat box so that our students can get in touch with you if they need. So thanks a lot. Can we have the agenda slide, please? Uh, thank you. Thank you. So with this uh, marks the end of our webinar. Thank you so much to all the panelists and attendees for participating in today's webinar. The recordings of the webinars conducted earlier and today will be uploaded on the University of Tokyo official website. And the link will be also shared in the chat box. Um, for more information about these Japanese universities, please join us for our upcoming webinars. Um, you can also scan this QR code uh, and uh, get in touch with us. And also, uh, please feel free to contact these universities personally uh, for some uh, for the additional information. And once again, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see you in the upcoming webinars. Uh, and I leave this um, this um, uh, QR uh, QR code with you. Uh, you can maybe take a screenshot and. Uh, uh, for a few minutes and maybe we, we'll see you in the upcoming webinars. Thank you so much.